welcome to a brand new addition, <laughs> a new addition to the Tony Hobbs series of 700 odd videos. So what we've got here is my friend, he's just gone down to use the little boy's room and the, and the pub <laughs> because we're about one minute from the car. No, we're not. We're about 45 minutes from the car, but he wanted to go down. So I said, okay, I'm going to stay here. While I'm here, can I, can I make use of your and I make use of your equipment. So he, he's given me permission to rummage around in, in his in his Durston Xmid. So the first thing is obviously we're in the Durston Xmid and the plan is that he's going to let me borrow this uh, for a couple of months or so uh, when we go. So I just got to remember to you know nab it off him. So we're just going to have a nose around and just see what other people take camping and I'll give a few thoughts on it. So uh, he likes a pack cover, he's got a, obviously had a duty pack at some time or other and he's got a pack cover. Personally I don't like pack covers but you know obviously some people some people like them so that's like just because I don't that doesn't mean that you can't have a pack cover. Now he's got a very warm, this is quite heavy, it's a heavy but probably very warm Merino Aclima hooded top. That's quite heavy, probably heavier than I would want to carry but probably very warm so we're going to put that down there. A pump sack for his Nemo um, airbed and the Nemo airbed that I'm sitting on now feels quite comfortable I have to say. Um, so we're going to put that down there. He's got a big pack of stuff in here. We won't take everything out. He has shown me what's in here so there isn't anything personal or you know that we shouldn't be looking at so we'll have a little nose. Apparently this is his little pouch for herbs and spices. So this is herbs and spices pouch. Um, something for energy, coffee filters and he did show me something. He got a spoon similar to my spoon. He had a coffee thing in here. He showed me his coffee filter. Oh, there it is, it's down here. His little coffee thing. Apparently this is uh, it's Japanese, but it's, you know, it's incredibly light. So you could, you could put your coffee filter in there, coffee filter paper in there, put some coffee in there. Tetra, Tetra drip. So if any of you are coffee drinkers and you want something very light, then that looks pretty decent. Um, you've got other stuff in there. I'm not going to bother nosing in. I don't know if there's anything personal in there, but <laughs> that's quite a, quite a weight there. Let's see what else we've got. This, I believe, is a tread light um, peg holder so we've got a couple of different seems to bring a million pegs <laughs> he's got two I don't know if this works yeah so it looks like two tread like peg holders a uh, frying pan I'll probably start frying something soon and he's got a tow axe I think that's probably maybe a 750 pan and an x boil thing, x boil that holds that pan. And what I did notice is that, if I hold it all together, this um, x boil fits this pan exactly. Probably a better fit than my. 550 and the and the x boil that go oh, and the x boil that goes with it so that's that's a nice setup that is a nice that's a nice setup um i believe this is a, a rab 
quilt liner. <laughs> we got in here. It's like a insulated. What's that for? <laughs> Sussex Outdoors, made in UK. It's like an insulated zip thing. What would you use that for? Answers in the comments below. Why would you have an insulated thing? Oh, I suppose for power packs, maybe. I don't know what's in there. That could be a power pack. Yeah, that, that, that's a power pack. I, I, you know, actually, I reckon that's an insulated thing for power packs. I reckon that's what that is. I reckon that's insulation for your power packs. Never seen that before. I tend to just chuck them in the, in the sleeping bag, but yeah. Okay. Mountain equipment sleeping bag. Now, the interesting thing with this uh, mountain equipment sleeping bag, this is rated at 10 degrees, but look, I mean mountain equipment makes good stuff, so I'm not gonna, I'm not going to knock mountain equipment, but there's no, there's no air in that in that at all because i joined him yesterday and he and his son had been here the day before and he messaged to say that he was cold and this is rated at 10 centigrade and he was cold in this so my phd um sleeping bag is rated 10 and he was concerned that i would be cold so i brought an extra quilt for him which is here somewhere um, to put over the top of this and if you watch my video on, on on my sleeping bag I deliberately if you remember saying went for a short zip rather than a rather than a long zip and there's a few things to note with with this sleeping bag from mountain equipment one there's no baffle on the inside at all, none. I know you could argue it's a 10 degree sleeping bag, therefore given the rating, you know, you don't need a baffle, but I think one is probably useful if you can, if you can have one. And also, if the temperatures drop a little bit, I do find from previous experience that there is no insulation on that zip. So any cool, not only is going to get through because there's, there's just no puff on that at all. Um, you know, it's going to get through this full length zip. So that's why I know some people, they like a long zip for ventilation and that type of thing. But, you know, try to get the bag for you, the conditions that you're doing. I would go for a short, you know, for a short zip. But obviously when you're buying off the shelf more than you know like PhD where you can customize pretty much everything you know I don't know how much this was but it was probably somewhat less than than the um, than the, the PhD one I mean you know when you you know there is there is air in it but it's I'm not I'm kind of not surprised that he got cold so anyway that's a few thoughts on on that of course, there has to be something just as well. Good, good lad, Chris. Uh, this isn't the other Chris. <laughs> um, he's got an MLD pack. This is the Exodus. I'm wondering whether this is maybe the second edition Exodus because this one, it has inside, and I'm not going to take it out, but it has inside this air frame, but it doesn't have the metal support inside. So comments below, because I'm not sure, my first one of these has that metal frame inside. So did that metal frame come before the one 
with just the air thing because mine has that metal thing inside and I must admit I don't really use it very much but well, I haven't used it for years because I've been using all my other MLD stuff but so that's the pack that he's using and he can get a huge amount of stuff in here he's got a first aid kit in one side pocket uh, various things quite a comprehensive first aid kit compared to mine I have very basic stuff to keep the weight down really and even then it still adds up and this side a few nibbles so that's his pack let's just move that over there okay this is something that he showed me i don't know whether anyone else uses this but this is a tyvek i've never used one of these or even seen one but apparently this is a tyvek over sleeping bag thing me getting it all out now but you know it's a thing to put over your sleeping bag to keep damp um, out and it's supposed to be breathable um, I've never needed one it's a 3 F3 UL gear Tyvek um, thing to put over your sleeping bag it would keep some warmth in and you know keep any moisture out That's my MLD quilt that I brought. So he's put my, I brought it for, so we could put it over the top of his sleeping bag to give him some extra warmth because he was cold last night. So I brought that with me. And this is my stuff sack because I had that in there just to, sorry. And it's like, a, it looks like he's got, charge you rental um, so what's he got here four class so this I think might be um, decathlon yeah so this is a decathlon down jacket I must admit that feels half decent it? it feels okay yep so that's your decathlon jacket I think the decathlon down jackets are probably okay if you want something a little bit cheaper. I don't know what the what the tog rating is on it. Made in China, it's not really a surprise. <laughs> but that's probably nice and cozy. I'll put that back in there. stuff sack for putting everything inside I don't know what brand this is but it's, I don't think it's Cuban fiber but it's something like Cuban fiber over here we've got an Exped pillow Exped ultra pillow very lightweight probably one of his lightest things here and then what have we got? <laughs> Seven hoops. What have we got in here? Mountain equipment. Oh that's that's the stuff sack. Oh is it like stuff sacks and stuff socks and oh it's his underwear I think. <laughs> around his underwear. I think that's stuff sacks and things like that. So he's kept all his stuff sacks very organized. <laughs> I can never find mine, so He's kept all his stuff sacks very organized, all stuff sacks, it's very organized in there. And then obviously we're sitting on the Nemo insulated um, mat, which I have to say does feel quite comfy. It's look, it looks, I'm sure it's wider than the one I've got. I must admit it looks, it looks decent. I did reach out to Nemo if they would ever be willing to you know let me have one so I could try but obviously I've not heard anything from them which is not a surprise 
Uh, mosquito head net. He's got insulated mat under under the foam mat, so that's obviously a good idea. One, it protects your mat. Two, it means you don't need a silly ground sheet. And three, it just gives you a little extra insulation, you know, under your under your foam mat. But yeah, this foam mat looks looks quite nice to be fair. A towel. Actually, there's a similar towel to mine. So, yeah, it's just food. Yeah, it's just food back here. Be careful we don't leak anything. So, a sea and a Canock water container and a platypus water filter. Pretty much, apart from Chris Tankson. Pretty much everyone I know filters their water apart from Chris and things and me. And a little stool. And then he's got his he's got a steak for later. And he's got broccoli. <laughs> I must start, start doing my frying soon. Spork. Fuel bottle. Oh, and he, oh yeah, he showed me a candle thing. He showed me like a lantern. So he's got some, um, some, some night light. I brought a night light on my very, very first camp all those years ago, and I've never, I'd never carried one again. But he's got, he's got a lantern somewhere. Um, but like I said, we'll, we'll be borrowing this Durston, so we will give it a. We will give it a crack. I'm going to try and use it a few times and see how we get on. He sleeps this end, so it's kind of better for him because I think if you can sleep on your left shoulder, like I said in one of my videos, you've got more porch space this end, whereas sleeping where I do down here is it, much narrower. And if I turned over although well, that porch seems to be bigger but that might just be because of the way it's it's laid out but then if I if I sleep on that side then it's the narrower side there but your head is still brushing sides and everything in here the same as any single the same as any single skin tent or you know single person tent well we'll leave that mess <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not too bad in here i just like my mod stuff but it's it must admit it does feel it feels warm it does feel warmer in here now you've got a tiny bit of a tiny bit of sun out anyway i hope you've enjoyed this interesting hopefully interesting little rummage around someone else's someone else's um someone else's tent we'll see you in the next video thanks very much for watching and uh, thank you for lizzie too we kept her up here so she wasn't anywhere near this this mat she's okay on my mat she'd probably be okay on that one too but it's not my mat so i don't want to risk her risk her on another mat oh, let's see you might like some cozy there too won't you thanks very much for watching